I'm going to show you how I like to paint using complementary colors and today I'm using the Derwent Inktense pencils and Inktense blocks and I always square my photograph into quarters and then square up the paper and draw from one square to the other using straight lines. I just find this a very easy way of getting a drawing down. I use the negative spaces between the objects an awful lot and that just helps me to get a more accurate uh, drawing. I'm using uh, probably a browny purpley intense pencil to draw with and I'm not too worried about the colour because it is going to dissolve into the paint that I put on top. I'm a great fan of not using pre-mixed brown and so you'll see me using blues and purples, a bit of oranges and reds and ultimately when all these colours are wet they run together and you'll get some very vibrant browns and um, I do like a vibrant painting so uh, I tend to mix my colours that way. I'm going to paint the hairs first and then later on put um, a background in so you'll see me explaining primary colours and why I use them and when they're all mixed together they make a bronze so that is the reason for that. Starting off by blocking in with a blue and a red the dark areas on the hair so looking at the photograph using a flat brush and just dissolving the colour uh, and allowing them to mix. I'm using a grater, it's called a sprinkler, and that gives me quite a lot of texture in my paintings. And once again, just wetting them, allowing them to dry, and then I'll work on top of them later. But wherever there's a dark patch, I'll go in with a red or a blue. And wherever it's light, once it's dry, I'll come back in and put some yellows on top. And so it should be quite a vibrant painting. Um, it's a lovely subject, there's a lot of movement, and I'm trying to capture some of that movement. So I'd never painted flat. I'm using as much texture as I possibly can create to try and get the vibrant uh, movement in this painting. Uh, these are Derwent Inktense blocks that I'm using, which is ink in a block form. Absolutely terrific to work with. I'm a great fan of them. Uh, they come in pencil as well as in block form. And you can pick up the paint directly from the blocks or you can grate it, you can shade it, you can use it as a pencil. Terrific product. I'm now going to use um, some of the ink tense pencils just to go in and put some of the details in. You can draw with them, they are water soluble um, and they're just terrific for pulling out the details. You can see me sketching on top of my existing uh, background colours. <clears throat> Establishing where the eyes and the nose are, putting the dogs in around the ears, going to come down and Pull out some of those uh, details of the pores and hopefully bring the whole thing to life. I'm working on a watercolour paper. It's a Derwent watercolour paper. It's smooth. It doesn't cockle, which is what I like. I don't have to stretch it. I can just go straight in and paint on top of it. I'm now going to put the background in and I'm first going to wet the entire surface of the background and then I'm going to use a sprinkler it's a grater and you can grate the ink tents onto the wet surface it'll start dissolving straight away and um, I'm using a spritzer just to increase the uh, the volume of water on the paper and a flat brush just to move the color around the shapes and I'll probably use my fingers just to scratch back into the paint later on which gives me a bit of texture there we go, lots of uh, texture, making it darker around the base of the painting and uh, it's a lovely painting to do. If you've enjoyed this painting, please subscribe and I look forward to your comments. Thank you very much.